Smart <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. I'm very uncomfortable and there's bugs flying everywhere. But there's what we do for Smal to Jannah. Smells quite dodgy as well. <laughs> Might be me. Who knows? We're currently in World Cup season. A Muslim learns lessons from anything and everything around him. Now, if we look at the World Cup, there's many lessons that we can learn from the World Cup as well. If we look at the boundaries of the football pitch. What happens when a player goes off the boundaries? Well, basically it's a throw on for the other team. Similarly, in Islam, we have boundaries as well and they are set to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, what happens? What happens if the ball goes off court? Well, shaitan then gets a throw in. Yep, he loves his throw in and he takes advantage of that. As Muslims, we don't give throw in to shaitan, do we? Nah, mate, we don't do that. The ball. That's basically our life. The other goal is where we're trying to reach. The other team, they are like obstacles in the way. And we have to do our silky skills. I can't really do any silky skills because I might fall in the pond. Yeah, I don't know what's lurking in there. You know, maybe the Loch Ness Monster. So your team is trying to score. And the other team is Shaitan's army, yeah? He's the obstacles and the way you gotta get around him is by doing your silky skills. How would we do our silky skills in the deen to get past the obstacles like Shaitan? Well basically, we'd be reading the Quran, yeah? We'd be doing the dhikr, yeah? We'd be looking after our parents. What's that? Ugh, that's a bag full of flies, it's disgusting. This is what we're working with there mate, yeah? The ball represents our life and the goal is obviously a step closer to Allah. As we score more goals, then we become closer to Allah and then we see that we've won the cup. Now what's the cup in Islam? Well, the cup is not the one that you drink tea from in a saucer, not the cup, yeah? It's the World Cup, yeah? And when you win the match, you get the World Cup. Yes, indeed, that's right, Mr. Seagull. Now you notice that all the players there, yeah, they're wearing their uniform. As Muslims, we got our uniform as well, mate, yeah? And you don't see a football player going on the pitch in his pajamas. Now you got the referee there telling you the rules, yeah? That's similar to what Allah sent to us, yeah? Through the guidance of the Quran and the Hadith, yeah? They are like a guide for us, stopping us and warning us if we're doing something wrong. Now, when a referee gives you a yellow card, Mate, that's like a minor sin, yeah? That's your warning. None of that. We'll have none of that. But when he gives you a red card, that's a major sin. Yeah, you gotta leave the match. But what do we notice on the right and the left? You got the linesmen. Yeah, they're watching. Yeah, is the ball coming off? Is there an offside? If there is, whistle blows, flag goes up. What's on our right and left? Kiram and Katibin. In football, you only get 90 minutes, but if you've been wasting time, then you get extra time to make up for that time wasted. But in life, there's no extra time, mate, yeah? No penalties. Once your time comes, it's game over, mate. And also in football, you've got people sitting 360 degrees all the way around you. Amazing. But that's like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watching you 360 degrees all the way around you. It's nearly time for me to go because my mate Pigeon is there. When Pigeon says it's time to go, it's time to go. But Alhamdulillah, this video was inspired by my close friend Sheikh Tajamul. Inshallah, you can see his video on the Inca Scholars. Yeah, he'll be doing it proper. Uh, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, smile to Jannah.